Hi guys. In this video, I am going to explain you how to create an animation that looks like a conversation in Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. This is the example I am going to take. It is a conversation between daughter and mother. The daughter wants to go to her friend's place, for which the mother says, to "Take an umbrella." The daughter asks the mother that anyhow it is not raining. What is the need of taking an umbrella? For which the mother says, "It is too hot and sunny." Finally, the daughter agrees to take the umbrella. Let us see how to make this animation in Microsoft PowerPoint. First, I am going to change the layout to blank layout, and then I am going to paste the image which I need. In order to show the conversation, I need to insert a shape. So I am going to insert menu shapes and choose one of the callouts. I am placing it here near the daughter. I need one more callout. I am placing it near mother. And this yellow spot should be near the mouth of daughter. And this yellow spot near mouth of the mother. I have three dialogues for daughter and two dialogues for mother. For which I need few text boxes. This is the first text box where the daughter asks for permission of mother. I have to keep one text box for mother now. The next text box is for daughter. The second text box for mother. The last text box for daughter. Okay, mom. Right. So before placing these text boxes inside the callouts, let us change the style of callouts. I am selecting the callout, going to format, and choosing from. Existing style. This gives me a better look. That is the only reason why I changed the style of the callouts. So this is how it looks. But we don't need it like this. We need the mother and daughter first. Then this callout should come. Then the dialogue. Then mother's callout, mother's dialogue, and that followed by remaining dialogues. Let us start our animations. I am going into the animations tab, choosing the callout, and clicking appear. So the first animation is appearance of the callout, and then I need to get these dialogues. I am selecting this text box and clicking on appear. But if I see the slide show now, this complete sentence appears at a time. First I got the callout, then I got the complete sentence, but I don't want it in that way. I want each letter to come one by one. For that, let me select the text box, go to the animation pane, click on this arrow. Go to the effect options. In the effect options, go to this animate text. Instead of choosing all at once, we will choose by letter. And the time, instead of 0.5 seconds, I'll make it 0.05 seconds. Click on OK. Let us see how this appears in slideshow. First, I got my shape, and then I got my sentence letter by letter. Apply the same to all the text boxes. But in order, I am going to do that. I kept this appear animation to all the text boxes. Then I am going to choose all these text boxes at a time. Click on this arrow. Go to the effect options. In the effect options, choose by letter and make the time as 0.05 seconds. Let us see the slide show. So this is how it starts. My first callout, then the dialogue, then mother's callout, mother's dialogue, daughter's second dialogue, mother's second dialogue, and daughter's final dialogue. Now arranging these text boxes inside this callout. Select the text box, keep it in the callout. Adjust the shape in such a way that all the text is inside the callout. I'm keeping one after other. Arrange the dialogues of mother in the callout. I have kept all the text boxes in the callout. You will not be able to read this text now because each one is overlapping the other. As the text boxes are overlapped, in order to select the text box, I am going into the animation pane and selecting on the first text box. Go to the animations. Go to add animation. Keep a disappearing exit effect for the text box. This disappearing exit effect. Should come before second dialogue of the daughter, and then 
mother's first dialogue has to disappear in order to keep the second dialogue the mother's first dialogue is take an umbrella select the effect there so that the text box gets selected here go to the add animation keep disappearing effect place it before mother's second dialogue and for daughter's third dialogue i need to keep disappearing effect for the second dialogue of daughter that is anyhow it's not raining i am selecting it go to the animation keep a disappearing effect place it before daughter's last dialogue let us see the slide show the final output first the mother and daughter are there then the call out of daughter the first dialogue mother's call out mother's first dialogue daughter's second dialogue then mother's second dialogue and finally daughter's last dialogue hope you learned something today in this video thank you